If you know one thing about the Ayrshire town of Kilmarnock, it's the association with Johnny Walker Whistle. That association goes back to 1820, but Diageo, Johnny Walker's owners, look set to bring it to an end with plans to all but leave the area. The author, William McIlvenny, a son of Kilmarnock, reflects on a devastating blow for his hometown. This is Kilmarnock. It's where I come from. And I've always been quietly proud of the fact I once described it in a book as a town both rough and friendly, like a brickish handshake. The roughness came when Kilmarnock found its modern identity from heavy industry. That heavy industry gave the people enough money to feel secure in themselves and unthreatened by others. The truth is that Johnny Walker has not only given some of the people of Kilmarnock a means of financial survival. It has also given the whole town a sense of identity, and it's been doing that for generations. But last month, the brand's present owners, global drinks giant Diageo, announced a plan to sever all ties between perhaps the world's most famous whiskey brand and its home since 1820. The impact of the decision has devastated this mother and daughter, who both work at the factory full time. I'm 26 and I got made full time two years ago and bought my house, get married next year and I just thought, right, this is the way my life's going to be. I've got a secure job and this is it and we'll go for there. And now I just feel, where'd I turn, what do I do? I've always kept a roof over my children's heads, but I'm not in that position anymore that I can say to her, it's OK, I'll make it OK for you, I'm your mum, come and live with me, because I'm Emil, I might not have a home myself. The family who run this news agents have witnessed many troubled times over the hundred years they've been serving the town. Pierre believes the closure will be felt by everyone. Hello, Willie. Hello, Pierre. Long time no see. It's great to see you. <laughs> yes. The ripples go out because if the fellow around the corner's not busy, he won't come to spend with me. Uh, I won't go to him if I'm not busy. I worry about my own position, my son's position. How hopeful are you? about the outcome of the present situation, the threat of closure. I'm fearful, not hopeful, I'm fearful. The proposed closure follows a long line of employers to pull out of the area. For Pierre, that sense of repeated loss has eroded the confidence of the town. There's a depression in the town, and I don't mean in monetary terms, there's just a general depression in the town. I feel that Kilmarnock has been pulled apart, and if this should happen, they're just taking the heart out of it. Diageo insists the redundancies are vital to sustain their business in Scotland and say their plans will deliver 400 new jobs. But that's not much comfort to workers here because the posts are 100 miles away in Fife. I joined a group of former whisky workers who believe taking Johnny Walker out of Kilmarnock could damage not only the community but the brand as well. That's an international brand that has an association and roots with Kilmarnock. And if you lose that heritage and that tradition, you'll never get it back. Yeah. When I'm going on holiday, someday maybe from down south, where are you from? Kilmarnock. Kilmarnock. Johnny Walker. Oh, so they recognise it. For 34 years I worked in it. And my father worked in it for 44 years. And I've got a son working in it now. He's 22 years, so that's 100 years of service we've given them. And come on up. And just to think that we've done all that and these people are going to just take it away from us. The local people aren't prepared to accept the decision as final. 20,000 took to the streets to show their support. Among them, the editor of the local newspaper. I think wh whatever happens at the end of the day with Kilmarnock is we've proved that, you know, we've got heart, that we can fight, we can band together, eh, and we can tackle big companies like Diageo. See if you don't challenge it and just give up. What is there there to fight for? You know, it was great to see people marching together. Politicians, business people, people in the street, just marching for, for one aim. It's been hugely impressive the way this crisis has galvanised not just those directly affected, but the whole area and beyond. I will fight till they put the last light bulb out in the factory. We're going to try our best to keep Johnny Walker's in Kilmarnock where it belongs. Mm -hmm. Johnny Walker's Absolutely. is Kilmarnock through and through. I hope that they're successful in 
taking that striding man who's been walking through Kilmana for generations and making sure that he doesn't stride right on out of town. It's terribly sad, Frank, isn't it? I mean, it just it rips the heart out of these little towns. 